Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your Total Body Kettlebell Strength and Conditioning Workout. What you're going to need today, obviously, kettlebells. Now, I don't have two kettlebells that are the exact same weight, so you only need, uh, you don't need matching kettlebells. Have a lighter one available, have a heavier one available, whatever you got, have them around so you can switch them out. Also, if you don't have a kettlebell that is light enough, it doesn't mean that you can't perform the exercise, it just means the weight is too heavy. So, you could trade out a kettlebell for a dumbbell, and perform just like so. You just gotta get creative with the grip depending on the exercise. All right, here's today's, whoa, here's today's format. We're gonna do a quick body weight only warm up, five exercises, a one minute on, 15 seconds. Then we'll get a little break before we go about 25-ish minutes of non-stop work, alternating from strength to cardio workouts. Uh, every exercise is gonna be fresh except a lot of unilateral movement since we only have one, we're only using one kettlebell. We got a lot of unilateral movements, so we will have to match it on the other side. Otherwise, y'all, this is gonna be fun. 60 on, 15 seconds off. You get to recover during the 15. I'll demo the upcoming exercise. We are also transitioning together. If you need more breaks, take them. If not, we're gonna keep grinding. Y'all, this is good. Remember to hit your start button on your watch. Let's keep track of uh, all that good stuff. I always get so mad when I forget. So grab all your stuff, something to hydrate, and let's get to work. All right, our first five exercises, body weight only. This is our warm up. I'm making this low impact, but you can amp it up a notch by jumping if you want. So first up, we have a jumping jack tap. We're gonna tap that left foot, bring it in, and then punch with the right internal rotation. If you want, you can do the full Monty just like so. I'm gonna take the low impact version. Choose accordingly. We go, one minute on in three, two, and one, let's work. Three, two, and one. Squat to calf raises next. Let's make sure that our knees aren't caving in. So really drive them. Make sure they're stacked over the ankles. If you need to have that cue of driving them out, that may help calf raise at the top. So heavy in the heels and we explode up. Let's go. So we can start with a limited range of motion here to here. And then about halfway through, we'll see if we can deepen that range of motion. I like breaking my hands down like this. It's like, no knees, do not cave in. Halfway through, let's see if we can deepen that range of motion on your squat. Honor your body though, everyone's gonna look different. One, jumping jack tap to a punch. We tap right, we punch left. If you want, take that full money, all right? This whole workout isn't low impact. I just like to warm up a little dialed down. All right, let's go. Thank you. 
two, and one. Cross X squat with rotational punch. So wide stance, we're bringing it down, but we're gonna cross, or excuse me, punch, rotate, and then back to center. So side to side, a little rotation with the core, punch it. We go in three, two, and one. Make sure those knees aren't caving in right here as well. Drive through that heel to bring it up to center, halfway. Last three, two, and one. All right, ab twist, focusing on the lower abdominals, hands behind the head. Now we're twisting opposite knee towards opposite elbow. Probably not gonna touch, we're just twisting as we bring that knee up, try to engage the lower abdominals even more. Let's go. If you just saw, I lost my balance just there, so this is really gonna challenge your balance as well. Try to keep your hips as level as possible, because if they come off come off that, then we lose our balance. Learn from my mistakes. Happy accidents. Final 10 seconds and you get your only water break officially for me for the day, even though it's always 15 seconds to recover in between and recover. All right, meet me back with your mat, your kettlebells, and we're gonna do some serious work. All right, so our first two exercises are gonna be unilateral. We'll have the kettlebell in our right hand and we'll be moving with this right leg. So it's a cling to press, but with a reverse lunge. So left leg is gonna stay grounded. That's where we're gonna feel it in this left glute, left hamstring, but we're gonna feel it in the upper body on the right side. So we take it back, reverse lunge. From here, we use the lower body to get that dumbbell neutral grip above the shoulder. We reverse lunge again as we drive through the left heel, we press it up and then reset. Here's another view. So we bring it here. Neutral grip, reverse lunge, press, reset. All right, that's our first minute. In seven seconds, we go. Three, two, and less work. Keep that left hip nice and locked in. Don't let it sway off to the side. So keep the core tight to help stabilize those hips. Three, two, and one. All right, coming up next, we have a, a neutral grip row to a tricep kickback. So left leg front, right foot's behind. One row, kick it back in return. So back triceps, reset, let's work. Control this movement, make those stops right here, stop. Bring it back, pause, and return. So it's one, 
two, three, and four. Last three, two, and one. Set that dumbbell down. We're coming into a nice high plank, alternating plank pull through. So kettlebells on the right side, wide stance. We reach this left hand underneath the body to grab the kettlebell. We place it on the other side. So reach underneath the body. Don't let the hips sway. Let's go. Your option here would be to come to the knees. So if needed, release those knees down. Just shorten your lever. You're working the exact same muscle group. So pretend like you have a glass of water on your low back. We're trying not to get that, uh, we're trying to, what am I saying? Just don't spill that water. Core stays tight. Last three, two, and one. Bring it on up. We're doing that on the other side. Reverse lunge, cling to press. Left hand has that kettlebell. Whew. All right, my heart rate's up. Right foot grounds. We know what to do. We've done it before. On the other side now, let's go. Left leg goes back, neutral grip. Reverse lunge, press it overhead, reset. Again, reverse lunge, drive it up. Reverse lunge. Again. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, get set up. Stagger stance, slight hinge forward, one row, neutral grip, kick it back, triceps, return to center. This is my weaker side, it's more challenging. Let's equal them out. Let's go. And one. Now that uh, kettlebell is going to stay center, we're going to frame that kettlebell with both hands. We step or jump back to high plank. We jump it in, pop jack with a bicep curl. So we're just bicep curling it, jump or step it back. Let's go. High plank, feet go wide, lift the chest, grab the kettlebell, one bicep curl, do it again. Jump or step back, jump or step in, lift. 
bicep curl and an iso squat. Pop jack to a bicep curl. Make sure we don't lift that kettlebell from the back. So I want you to be in that ISO squat before we grab the kettlebell. Three, two, and one. All right, next up, unilateral movement. We have bicep curl, we're balancing. So left hand has the kettlebell, right leg, I'm trying to mirror you, goes up. We're just curling it, bringing it down, supinated grip, let's go. So this leg up is gonna challenge our balance. We drew a line from hip to hip. We're trying to keep it par that line parallel to the ground below. Focus on a non-moving focal point. That'll help with balance as well. If you don't see my, my right foot, probably can't see it. It's wobbling. Keep the core tight. Soft right knee, left knee. It's my right. Sorry, y'all. And one, we're gonna balance on your left foot, right leg's gonna go back, grab the kettlebell in both hands. This is a chest press repeater. So that right knee's coming in and then we press it out. So engage lower abdominals, engage chest as we extend. Let's go. That standing leg is gonna be on fire. That's, that's what, how I programmed it. We gotta fight through this burn, keep the core tight, engage more. One, pop jack with a plank pull through. So we're here, we jump or set back into that high plank. One, pull through, and then we bring it forward, feet wide. Make sure you don't hit that kettlebell. We go in three, two, and one. I'm right there with you, I'm out of breath. Try to keep your form as perfect as possible. High plank, jump or step back. One, plank pull through. Hand goes down, pop jack. And be mindful of where your kettlebell is and where your feet go. And one, all right, bicep curl, other side. So <laughs> your right hand has that dumbbell, excuse me, kettlebell, and your left thigh is coming parallel. Option here, you can just take it to a kickstand. Let's go. I'm wobbling a little bit. Let's focus, core stays tight. I'm looking a few feet in front of my own. That's helping with balance. Soft standing knee. 
exhale to lift. This is way more challenging than what it looks like. Three, two, and one. All right, we have those repeaters. This leg's gonna stay grounded bilateral. So it's a chest press into a gauge. Engage the lower abdominals as that knee comes up. The weight's gonna wanna drop, fight it. Let's go. My arms are on fire, my leg is on fire. Fight through it. I'm right there with you. And one, pop jack, bicep curl to a press. So we've already done the pop jack with a bicep curl. Now we're just gonna add a front press with it. Oh my goodness. Get into position, we go. And three, two, and one. Jump it back, jump it wide, lift the chest. Then bicep curl, press it out, return to center. The step out version is gonna look like this. We're just making it low impact. If you do jump, I want you to jump and land soft. So, how quiet can we land? Three, two, and one. All right, I'm staying with this lighter kettlebell, lower body staying out of it. Overhead front raise. So we're taking it all the way up, slow eccentric on the way down. If you have limited shoulder mobility, just take it eye level. But fair warning, that's our next exercise. Slow and steady. So notice, lower body is out of it all the way up. Three, two, one on the way down. If you find yourself doing that, lighten the load. Control it. If you need to rest, because it's burning, take a few deep breaths and then rejoin me. And continue that pattern until time is up. Last three, two, and one. Eye level front raises. So this is like a drop set, but we're not dropping weight. We're gonna maintain that weight, eye level, normal tempo, up and down. Again, keep the lower body out of it. If you have to do that, lighten the weight. Let's go.
fight through this burn. It is burning for me too. I'm gonna try to go till the end. We got this, 30 seconds. Again, if needed, pause, take a few deep breaths. And then the next time you come back to this video, let's see if we can go all the way through. It's a goal. We can progress every time. We can get better every time. Final 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Ha! Ah, all right, side to side goblet squat. Let's give the upper body a break. All right, we're right here. Just holding on to that weight, side to side squat. Oh, giving our upper body a little break. Now we're gonna focus on lower. Let's go. So I have my, I know I have, I'm holding this kind of weird only because I have my mic pack right here. So I'm just trying not to hit it. It gets a little cranky sometimes when I touch it. Hold it however it's comfortable for you. I like this way. You can always change up the grip. If you don't like that, you can do this. seconds and I'm gonna switch to that heavier dumbbell because it's lower body from here and out three two and one all right I'm switching dumbbells we have a B stance RDL left foot plants right foot turns into kickstand hip hinge motion send the hips back drive through the left heel we are keeping constant tension on the glute and the hamstring on the left leg let's go hinge forward send the hips back and then we're here so cut yourself in half See how little to no movement is happening in my knees. It's all in the hips. Bring it back. Big stretch. Big contraction. Big stretch. Loose and hammies. Lift it up. What we don't want is this number where we lead with the head or we lead with the kettlebell. Kettlebells along for the ride. I prefer mine almost grazing my body. I'll give you a different view. Ain't nobody gonna change. Everybody stays the same. So be different, make a name, huh? I keep on moving forward. Always getting closer. March until it's over. And just like a soldier, I keep on moving forward. Always getting closer. I'm marching till it's over. Last three, two, and one. All right, just switch sides. Switch the kettlebell. Now, right foot is forward. We're gonna probably have one side that feels more challenging than the other. That's okay, these are great exercises to help with any muscular imbalances. Let's go. Drive through the right heel. So now we're keeping constant tension right here. It should be burning by the end. And if not, don't worry. We got more. So I'm looking straight down. Bring it up. Uh, something else is this number. If you're looking at me, you're probably doing this. It could bring that tension to the low back. You know what to do now, so just look down. Keep on moving forward. Always getting closer. March until it's Three, over. two, and one. Bilateral RDLs. All right. So two hand grip, equal weight in both feet. We take it somewhere in between your feet and your knees, and then we bring it up. Same movement pattern. It's a hip hinge movement pattern. We're feeling it along both sides now. Slowly centric. Three, two, one. One count pause. One count drive it up. Again, if you have a heavier weight selection available, you want to grab it right here. But have this lighter one uh, handy for our final exercise, which is next. Three, two, 
moving forward. Always getting closer. I'm marching till it's over. Halfway. Now if you're squeeze, I'm squeezing the glutes at the top right here, but I'm not hyper extending. So we see that a lot on social media. Don't do that. That could hurt your low back. So if you squeeze, squeeze with a neutral low back. Effects. Yeah. yeah. I never take doubt as a lesson. I never second guess it. Take negativity and Three, it. two, and one. Finale. All right, this is it. Final exercise. Hip hinge motion. Hip hinge kettlebell swing. Same movement pattern, but now, whoo, we're letting the dumbbell kind of lead us. The the kettlebell should lead us. It should feel light at the top right here. All right, let's go. Bring it up. Now squeeze the glutes on this. But just like I said earlier, don't hyperextend at the lumbar spine. Keep it neutral right here. The weight should feel weightless at the top. So we're going with gravity. Legs are doing the work. Legs are controlling. Glutes are controlling this movement. You got this. Never doubt myself. I can count on no one else. And I do not need your help I was told to show not tell I don't ever doubt myself I can count on no one else and I do not need your help I was told to show not tell so watch me blue turn fire final 10 seconds three two one more rep and one. Nice work. Non stop. About 30 minutes. That was good stuff. That was good stuff. All right. And no editing breaks. My kids, you know. Oh, Sarah, right next door taking a nap. It's nap time. Nap time for them. My bedroom's a hop and a skip away. It's literally three steps on the other side, just in case. No mom shame. Let's stretch. Enough of me talking. I know you don't like it. <laughs> All right, let's cross the right arm in. This is my right arm. I'll give you the mirroring view. So right arms in. And then let's release uh, left shoulder to left ear. Feel a big stretch along that trap. Huh. Good stuff. All right, inhale up to center. Just switch sides. Let the breath slow down. Mine is pretty heavy right now. All right. Inhale, arms reach up. Hinge at your left elbow. And just get a nice little tricep stretch. If you want, take a little side bend up and over to the other side. Side body stretch as well. Inhale, up to center. Exhale, other side. All right. Let's hit the glutes. So. I'm gonna do this standing. I have a wall to help brace myself. You can do this without a wall, but just be very mindful going into it. Left leg, left ankle crosses over right quad. Start to hinge it back and down. The knee that is bent, drive it back, and then sit down a little bit more. And this hip, this glute, which is my left, I don't know which side you're bending, because I didn't say, <laughs> it should feel a big stretch right here. Ooh, okay, other side. I'm gonna switch. All right, let's hit those hammies. So right foot goes forward, dorsiflex at the ankle. Big deep inhale as we exhale, send the hips back. We should feel a big stretch along the back of the right leg. When you're ready, bring it up, other side. I'm gonna start making some more kettlebell workouts. Now I have three, but all of them are different weight selections. I'm filming this while um, equipment is hard to get right now, so it's during pandemic times, early 2021, it's January 2021. Still kind of hard to get my hands on some kettlebells, but I do have three, uh, so I'll try to film some more. Bring it on up, let's open up in front of the abs and the chest. Inhale up, as we exhale, little back bend, look up, cactus the arms. Let's do that again, inhale up and exhale, open. Y'all, you rock. Have a wonderful rest of the day. My name is Laurie. Like, subscribe, comment, and just keep up the amazing work.